Good day to everyone. Today let's see how an RCBO works. RCBO stands for Residual Current Circuit Breaker with Overcurrent Protection. This particular RCBO is an electronic RCBO made by ABB, where the tripping is done by electronic tripping unit. It can replace any miniature circuit breaker, since the width is the same as a normal MCB, although height is little more than that of an average MCB. Phase supply is from the bottom as usual, and different types of conductors can be used here easily, because two input terminals are provided. In case where busbar usage is not possible, two inputs are certainly an advantage here. So you can add more units in the distribution box, according to the overload protection requirement of your load lines. Since all these units act as individual RCDs, you can install these directly after the main switch, inside of the distribution box. Also, make sure leakage current tripping value of all these devices are marked with 0.03 amperes or 30 milliamperes on it. When considering the neutral line, contact configuration of these devices provide a switched pole, that is for the phase line only. Although the neutral line involves here with the leakage current tripping, it will not be disconnected when tripping occurs. Neutral line input to the RCBO is supplied via the blue cable mounted on the device and is to be connected to the neutral block. You see another white color cable mounted on the device, adjacent to the blue color neutral line. This functional earth cable ensures protection against earth leakage, in case of loss of neutral line connection to the device. These are to be connected to the earth block inside of the distribution box. In these electronic RCBOs, tiny PCB of the electronic tripping unit is powered through the phase and neutral supply. Therefore, neutral line is a must for operation of these. So, in the event of neutral line failure, electronic tripping unit manages supply voltage for its operation, using the phase line and this functional earth cable. Neutral input line to the unit is factory fitted and is shown here. Functional earth is visible adjacent to the blue color neutral line and is also factory fitted. Neutral line out to the load is to be connected to the terminal here. Then, the phase line cable out for the load should be connected to the terminal shown here. Phase line input to the RCBO is shown previously and is connected at the bottom terminal. Let's see how fault finding is done by looking at the device status. If the toggle position of the switch is down with green color indication and also the upper indicator slot showing white, either the circuit is overloaded or someone has purposely switched the related circuit off. Check whether someone is using the circuit with too many loads and turn the switch back on after making sure the correct load is maintained. If the toggle of the switch come down with the upper indicator turned blue color, then it's obviously in leakage current fault. But your home will not experience a blackout, since all other healthy circuits are in operation. So you have enough time and the power left to start the maintenance work on defective circuit. Hope you understood why individual RCBOs are used in electrical circuits, instead of individual MCBs in one RCD unit as a whole. Thanks for watching the video. Please join us as a patron on www.patreon.com, Electro Academy. Your help on this matter will be greatly appreciated. Thank you.